Hello guys, my name is Wale Faro. I'm a tech entrepreneur. You are watching Tech Roundup, your weekly opinion, views, and analysis of the top tech events happening around the world with a focus on Nigeria. On today's episode, we have another guest. This time we have an entrepreneur who's been using tech to drive distribution of African music for over a decade. Demo Lagundele is the founder of NotJustOK.com, a platform he started as a music blog several years ago. He has grown the company to be the leading African music repository and has had to change his business model to compete in this tech age where tech giants like Amazon, Google and Apple are all actively participating in music distribution, including distribution of African and Nigerian music. We discuss the progress the company has made since inception and how his views has emerged as we go through this post-COVID era. This episode is different and I hope you like it. Exclusive on notjustok.com All right, thank you so much Mr. Demola Gundele for joining, joining this uh, episode of Tech Roundup. Uh, I hope you are doing well, I hope you are staying safe. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, these are unprecedented times. And I hope you are, I just hope you are doing well with your family. Yes, yes. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So you are the founder of notjustok.com. Uh, that's a really popular uh, platform for Nigerian and as well as African music. I, I discovered it myself in, uh, I believe it was in 2007 during my MBA. It was when I came across it. And since then, I still use it today. It's just that my journey of using it but it has changed, it has evolved. I used to use it in a particular way, now I use it a bit differently. But it's a, it's a major, you know, aggregation of, you know, Nigerian music, African music. Tell us a little bit about how you started this, this journey and what you were hoping to achieve at the start of the business. So, I mean, when I started the business, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't even a business, it was more of a hub, right? Um, at the time when I started it, I think, I done a few because uh, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I done a few things that I failed woefully at, um, <laughs> and, I, and really, when I when I really started, not just okay, um, I started it initially as more of a lifestyle blog, um, kind of like just recording some of, some of the things I enjoy, like yeah. music, um, books I read, and things of that nature. But um, as time went on. Um, it became a music site because um, out of everything I was posting, music was seemed to be like what everybody was gravitating towards. And then we put we put a particular uh, video up one time by by Nice. He recorded something in the UK, and the numbers just went like seriously, like ten x. Like wow, I'm not seeing this kind of number. So at that, from that moment, I just changed the whole thing to a music platform. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much how we started. And then even at that time, it was more of a passionate thing, right? I would go, I had a nine to five, go to, go to work, come back and pretty much stay all night feeding people music. Uh, obviously, to source the music, I had to reach out to a bunch of artists um, on social media at the time, but we can probably get into that as time goes on. But yeah, so that's pretty much how it started. It wasn't, it wasn't a big idea, oh, we're going to do this, I'm going to make money from this. It was more of just a passionate uh, hobby and yeah. just a business. So um, fast forward, um... The big techs, they've gone into music big time. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Google, Apple, I think Facebook is trying as well. And when they go, and they, and they, when they, when they go into music, there's, there's always that focus on Nigerian music as well because yeah, yeah. The global appreciation of it, right? So I can't, yeah. you know, to the point I made at the beginning of the conversation, the way I used to use notjustok.com at the time, I go there, one, to find music, new music that are breaking, because I follow Nigerian music and I listen to Nigerian music a lot. I still do, right? Uh, and two, to download it into my own device so I can hear it subsequently. These days, what I use it for really is to follow the music that are breaking, and then I then go to my uh, Apple to go and actually download the music, because that's what I have on my... And I, and I guess a lot of users would have transitioned that way. So how has that impacted your ability to actually generate revenue uh, based right. on your traditional model that you started with? Because I know that as a as a as a brilliant entrepreneur, 
as these things are happening, you're also changing yeah, yeah. how your business model, you know, is shaping up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think about four or five years ago, right, um, I, you kind of saw kind of like a shift in behavior um, in, in users. You started to realize that, okay, look, people don't have that much time to go, go into, a, you know, kind of like a website, especially to consume music, right? And click on this one, it opens up a tab, click on this one, open. it's like, man, I don't have time. <laughs> so so, so we, re, we realized that um, on one hand, the value that we provided for the artist back then was kind of like popularity and the spread of the music, yeah. right? Now, these, like you said, these big tech companies come in and provide additional value, which is not just the popularity of music or the accessibility of music, but also monetization of music, right? Yeah. So, um, and also it makes then the, the value they provide for the users is um, easy uh, way to just consume music. You don't have to press this too many times. It's all, it's all integrated into the app. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You just go playlist and just play and you just get recommendation and all sorts of different technology assistance to help you just consume mm -hmm. music yeah. easy. So what we did was um, we started um, figuring out how to not just provide music content on notjustok.com, but also provide editorial um, and pretty much help people follow the culture. Lifestyle. Um, lifestyle. Li lifestyle, yeah. exactly. Kind of lifestyle of the culture of Afrobeats. Yeah, okay. So that's, okay. that's kind of how we are pretty much pivoting. And also, like you said, we realize that people come to discover first on our platform and then go to this, these other platforms to save. So what we've done is we've um, also found a way to integrate some of these um, like Apple Music, YouTube and all these guys embeds on our platform to help make it easier for the users. One, two, we've also seen an opportunity to help artists monetize their music on these platforms. Uh, so we partner with some of these platforms. Uh, so, so, all right. Uh, one last question for you. It's something yeah. I've, been, I've been meaning to ask you. Even in our conversation, you've said not just for a long, for s several times. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know whether you noticed it or not. If I, I wanted to start counting the number of times. Yeah, I said not just. <laughs> said it a few times. So, so the question is, how did you come about the name Not Just Okay? It sounds really simple, but you know, is there a, is there a backstory behind it? Yeah, I mean, there is. Uh, it's just a silly story, but I'll say it. So um, when I was in, when I was a bit, you know, obviously before I started the site, I was at the time when I was about to start the site, I was reading this, a book by Seth Godin called Purple Cow, okay. right? And Purple Cow was kind of like a name that he used, kind of like. Basically, the book was about remarkability, how to be remarkable. So I was trying to figure out a name that kind of stood for remarkability. So I was, I was now thinking, okay, so if I went to, if I, if I, you know, if I go on a date right now, and I came back from the date, and my roommate asked me, how was your date? And I said, eh, it was just okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was mediocre, right? But it was just okay. So I said, you know, how do I make just okay? Remarkable. So I said, you know what? I'll, it's a negative. Let me let me not. We just add a negative to it. I mean, <laughs> so the idea of not just okay is more. It's, it's supposed to be more than okay, much better than just okay. All right. So yeah, yeah. So it's no, simple. No, that's good story. Good story. <laughs> I, I mean, I I knew there must be something behind. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my chat with Devola. We will resume our analysis of the latest tech stories next week, and you can look forward to that. In the meantime, for tech-related stories and articles. Please make sure to check techroundup.tv. Some of the headlines this week include digital financial literacy post COVID 19, Nigeria's telco offering during the pandemic, and the future of ride hailing companies could be logistics. As always, we'd like to hear your comments and feedback, so please connect with me on LinkedIn at Wale Farong and subscribe to our Tech Roundup YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Also, like us on Facebook and be part of our vibrant tech community. Tech Roundup was back on radio this week with great excitement and article review with Teke. Catch us next week on 99.3 FM Nigeria Info at 11.15 AM. Have a great weekend guys and see you all again next week. Good night.